Okay, so we called them and they didn't answer their phone. Common enough, right? So let's leave them a message. All right, so we say, hi, Susie, this is Dave calling from Dr. Biamonte's office. You reached out to us on Facebook with regard to our blank program. And I wanted to let you know that we did receive your questionnaire and we, we received your request for more information. And as I'm sure you noticed, this $89 package includes your X, Y, and Z. Our goal for this promotion is to help as many people in your area as possible, right? We want to teach them to eat healthier. We want to help them to lose weight. And again, I'm calling you back, uh, I'm calling you back to book your appointment because we're getting booked up incredibly quickly, as I'm sure you can imagine, right? Uh, we only have three or four appointments left for this promotion over the next couple of days. So I want to make sure that you give me a call back today so I can secure your appointment and make sure that you get in before all of our slots are filled. You can reach me directly at your number and I look forward to speaking with you. Again, my name is Dave and my number is blah. All right, I look forward to talking to you soon. Okay, so let's talk about the big takeaways for these scripts. Okay, there's, uh, it's very similar actually to our, um, to our ads. We want a sense of urgency, simplicity, and focus. Okay, because the only thing we the only thing we care about right now is getting them in the building to put them in front of our sales team. And the only way that we can change their lives and change their families' lives is to get them in the door, right? So we only have a few appointments left in the next couple of days. I can secure that for you now. That's why we have to get them in the door. Okay, um, a couple of additional call notes. Whoever strikes first wins. Okay? Because don't think that you're the only guy out there or girl out there that are offering these things for them to come in. Again, we could be down the street, like my team could be working with a clinic down the street and we're teaching them the same processes and the same strategies that are working. So don't think that you're, only, you're the only game in town. So whoever strikes first wins. Speed to contact is one of the most crucial lessons I learned from all of our service related businesses. It doesn't matter if it's Cairo or weight loss or fitness or fireworks, whatever happens, you got to be the first to answer back. If you don't answer, your competitors are, right? If you don't call them back within the first few minutes, you've already lost the sale. I know I'm not telling you not to call them back, but what I'm saying is strike first, strike first, and strike first. We live in a time of instant gratification, right? Uh, I'm sure you're painfully aware of that. I mean, how much does it suck now that Amazon Prime went to two days instead of one day or next day? Personally, I hate it, right? I will pay, for, I will pay more because I want it right now. Um, kind of at a personal aside, I buy things online all the time, right? Um, I go online, I, I'm looking for a specific car uh, and I go to my San Diego dealer, they can't get it. What do I do? I drive to LA, I pay more, so I can get it today. I want it today. I pay more. I deal with LA traffic, which is a nightmare, by the way, which most of you probably know. I pay more and I have to sit in three extra hours of traffic. But guess what? Then I'm sitting in traffic in my blacked out Range Rover, right? With the exact specs that I wanted. But that's because I wanted it today. I'm wor it's, it's worth it to me to go through a little bit more pain to get it today. So strike first. Your potential clients are used, to, uh, are used to calls being answered and returned immediately, okay? If that doesn't happen, the doctor or clinic down the street, they're going to do it, right? Um, they may not have a receptionist there at 9 p.m. on a Thursday night, but they have an answering service and the answering service knows what their calendar is and they're gonna schedule them, okay? So, uh, or minimally, they have the calls forwarded to their assistant and who is answering the phone. Okay, so that's the difference between an average Cairo, an average weight loss clinic that's making just enough to make buy, to get by, or our clients. Okay, they're making seven figures. So uh, if you aren't answering the phone, someone else is. That's the takeaway, and they're going to take your business. All right. Um, let me give you another example. Okay, uh, again, I hate to wait. Okay, I'm crazy. It makes me, it makes me nuts. Just ask my girl, right? Example is this last Labor Day. Uh, I'm out on a morning drive. I go out. It's part of my morning routine. Um, you know, it's where I kind of like, it's the calm before the storm of each day. Okay. But I came across this property that I was interested in out of the blue. 
it wasn't planned. Um, but I became crazy focused on, on this one property because I knew it had the potential to generate a lot of income and I wanted to know everything about it and I wanted to know now, right? I had to buy it. So I saw the listing, I looked it up and I called the person and it was a voicemail. Why? It was Labor Day. Labor Day, okay? So I figure, okay, fine. What agency, blah, 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 got it. I went to the agency website and there was a list of agents on there that had all their information listed, okay? So I called the next one on the list, nada. The next one, nothing. The next one, nothing. I get to phone number number seven and on the list was Trish who answered the phone. She made $70,000 that day because she answered the phone, all right? That's the state of the world. Uh, I got the property, obviously, right? So she made the money when six people above her that I tried to give cash to didn't answer the phone, okay? So that's the state of where we're at and how business is done today. And if you don't answer the phone, somebody else will that's gonna take your money, okay? So Labor Day, I don't care. That's why some weight loss clinics and chiros make more money than others, you know? Uh, it's sad but true, but six other real estate agents were drinking beer and playing in the pool with their kids and their families when Trish answered the phone and made 70 grand for a 10 minute conversation, okay? Answer the phone, return the call, and do it now. If you wait, they're most likely already gone, man, and they're visiting uh, your competitor down the street. All right, so someone will always get the money, so it should be you. All right, so let's talk about appointments real quick. Make all of your appointments for today or tomorrow, and that will help ensure the highest show rate. People are flakes. Everyone knows it, and getting people in the door is a nightmare, okay? They may have made an appointment, uh, you know, they've scheduled it, they feel real good, but the reality is that they're, they're kind of a pain and they're always gonna be a flake, okay? So what do we do about that? There's several strategies that we use uh, that really work wonders, okay? But for now, we'll start with the basics. Go back to the script, all right? I have a 10 a.m. appointment today and a 2 p.m. appointment tomorrow. Which one works best for you? We're giving them two times, one for today, one for tomorrow, because, you know, we have to get them while they're fired up, right? They're emotional about this. They signed up for your this. They liked your thing for that. They got their credit card out and they prepaid for this. So we want to get them in the door now while they're excited about it. If you wait three or four days a week, what happens? People lose their enthusiasm, okay? So that's why the majority of people say that their leads suck. I hate to say it so pointedly, but that's true. There's no such thing as a crappy lead. There's no such thing as a crappy lead. There's only crappy sales teams and crappy processes. If you or your team has ever blamed a lack of sales on the leads, which come on, I know you have, well, you're lying to yourself, okay? Why do we lie to ourselves? It's because our subconscious, our brains, our conscious mind's job is to protect our ego from the truth that we all kind of suck at something. But guess what? It's true, okay? Uh, this was one of the best things I ever learned and was given to by a mentor. The fact that I suck at some things are okay. I don't always have to be right. I don't always have to be the smartest guy in the room. And then once you get that and you own it, then you can, you know, come to a peace with it, okay? Um, that's also where you're gonna be well on your way to making more money right? Because you can do something about it. Think about it. I mean, if, if often we say things like, I already know that, then you're closing down to what could be some good knowledge coming in. And we could learn something from, apply to our business and make more money. I mean, once we get a few years into the profession, whether it's a chiro practice, weight loss clinic, whatever it is, we subconsciously start to become set in our own ways. So have you ever tried Facebook ads in the past? Did it work? I already know the answer, right? Because I hear it every single day. Oh, Facebook doesn't work for my kind of practice. Well, I hate to break it to you, but your practice is doing $120,000, right? Your practice down the street working with us is doing $600,000, doing Facebook ads, or doing social, like doing these processes. So what I'm trying to help you with is understand that you don't know everything and that's okay. So let's bring it back around. 
All right, I know that you already, uh, I know that people are used to getting people in like a week, two weeks, you know, setting their appointments like that. So let's talk about that two days. Why don't we let them linger for five days or maybe into next week? This is cutting out the flakiness options for your clients. And if you can do this, schedule them within a day or two while they're fired up and they're ready to buy. Not only are the, is your show rate going to increase, but your sales rate and your income is going to increase as well. All right. So let's talk about being enthusiastic. And I know, man, I, I'm, I'm guilty of this too. I'm like, ah, oh, enthusiastic. I get it, man. I have to be all like blah, blah, blah and sunshine and rainbows. But this is greatly going to increase your show rate. If you or your receptionist or whoever's answering the phone, maybe it's your mom, um, if you're enthusiastic, okay? And I know you answer the phone all day long, well, hopefully, right? Hopefully you have a bunch of calls coming in and your enthusiasm can go up and down. It can wane a little bit. Um, I totally get that, especially when our clients are, you know, asking a bunch of dumb questions, frankly, right? But come on. You have to have enthusiasm in your voice. You have to fake it if you don't have it and be excited because the services that you're offering is going to really impact their lives. It's good. It could be a huge difference for them, right? So if you're flat and you're nonchalant, yeah, and you're booking them, what's that say about your services? What's that going to do to their enthusiasm about coming in? I mean, let alone buying anything if they do show up. So test your colors. I mean, right? I mean, that was painful for me to get through. Test your colors. Make sure that, you know, that there's enthusiasm injected into it, right? And you're going to see a huge difference. Okay. And while I'm at it, um, say their name. The one word that humans love to hear more than anything is their own name. So use it. Use it freely. Dave, great to hear. Susie, let, let me tell you something. I really appreciate you calling me. And let me tell you something, if I can do anything for you for the rest of the day, you know, because I know you're coming in tomorrow morning, Susie, I really, really am looking forward to doing it. Can I send you anything? Can I do anything for you? Okay, great. Use their name because people love to hear it. All right. Use it enth enthusiastically, right? Get them in the door, get them in front of your sales team, and then we can upsell them on all of our packages. All right. I'll see you in the next video.